everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kyla cheese i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to show y'all how i organize my bag or you know yeah how i organize my bag because my bag be getting like real just tangled like for no reason and it's real annoying so i be needing to like you know clean it all and stuff Especially during the end of the month and things like that, you know, get rid of like receipts and just clean out my bag. And so, yeah, this is my bag. This is my Marc Jacobs tote. I absolutely love this bag. You can pop this tote in the washer because of the material. It's canvas material. It does um, hold lint, but you can get some tape or a lint roller and rub it off and it'll be fine. Um, that is the only con to this bag literally the only con like i absolutely love this bag i want this bag in multiple different colors like this is my favorite everyday go-to bag like literally um i even take this bag during date night sometimes like when i be having dates when i go on dates with my boo i be like taking this bag um i just don't like switching this bag out i just love this bag so much y'all i love this bag so much so um my freaking my puff ball just broke or maybe i could tie it back together but my puff ball just broke so i'm gonna see if i can I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do with that. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show y'all what's in my bag, what I keep in my bag, and things like that. Because y'all tend to like these videos. Um, This is the new book I'm reading, Allegedly, by Tiffany D. Jackson. So far, the first 58 pages. Love. Love, love, love. Absolute love. So yeah, this is my Mark Jacobs totes. And I'm going to show y'all a couple of ways that you can wear it as well. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this is the first way. This is how I typically wear my bag. Like, this is most likely how I wear my bag. Or sometimes I wear it like this and just walk. You know, I just wear it like, like that and just walk. Or sometimes I'll put it on my shoulder. It's not, it's not zipped up right now. So yeah, sometimes I put it on my shoulder like that. If I'm like in an airport or with a bunch of people that I don't, if I'm just, you know, with a bunch of people and stuff like that, I'll put it over me like this. That way my stuff is like literally on me and can't nobody snatch my shit. And if I need to run real quick, I can grab it like this and run you know what i'm saying um so yeah this is typically how i would wear it in like an airport or if i'm in a big crowd of people you know what i'm saying um just wear it like this and walk you know so yeah that is most of the ways that i wear my bag I think that fluffy stuff got all of my lip gloss. Mm, I don't know. So yeah, that is how I wear my bag. So now I'm just gonna show y'all what's. I'm just gonna show you my accessories. So first of all, we have this claw clip. I have starter locks. Um, but when it get hot outside and I'm ready to put my hair up, I'm ready to put my hair up. Do you understand me? I don't care. And I have to wear my hair up when I'm eating as well, or just clipped up when I'm eating. So I keep this on my bag. Then I have my lip gloss right here, my Gush lip gloss. It just adds a pop of color and I absolutely love this lip gloss as well. Red is my favorite color. Support my sister's brand, Gush, gloss until something happens. She has great product. Um, so now for what's inside the bag. Y'all know red is my favorite color. So I got this from Black. It's a black owned company. She sells purses and handbags, book bags, lunch boxes, 
is that it i think that's it makeup bags um and i decided to get this one so as you can see it's glittery like a little glittery and that is because my fenty beauty um highlighter broke so it looks really really pretty in person because you know she's just glittered so yeah this is my little makeup pouch that i carry and i'm just gonna show y'all like some of the stuff that i carry in here because i have a lot of stuff a lot of miscellaneous stuff so the first thing i carry in here is my coco chill cannabis sativa seed oil lotion i absolutely love victoria's secrets lotions um the pink brand specifically i love their lotions so i got me some travel size ones because they're absolutely bomb the next thing i have in here is a fancy beauty lip gloss and i put these all in one bag because every like stuff was getting like i couldn't find what i was looking for you know what i'm saying so i just need i'm like i need all my lip glosses and all my makeup stuff in one bag um because with it being in my purse with me just dropping it in my purse it wasn't no so i have this one is um honey waffles it looks so good on the lips the next one oh my goodness this is cherry treats by fenty beauty love 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 this is my brow pencil wet and wild brow pencil love that my beauty blender that i need to clean off we have some tweezers for lashes but i'm trying to stay away from wearing lashes i need to like you know not wear lashes so much because this is another fenty and fenty glow this is the cream version some nail glue i'm trying to steer away from wearing nails as well some concealer this is in the shade toffee i believe i think this is a shade toffee another fenty heat oh love and this is a plumper as well we have another fenty heat this is fussy heat a fenty mascara the travel size another lip gloss this is one of my favorites the hydrating lip oil love we have a makeup by mario brow pencil brow pencil lip liner this is lip liner Spoolies with brushes on the end. Another concealer. This is a brow pencil that is literally like finna be no more. I need to get another one. This is brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Another, what is this called? Glue nail glue. My Tide pencil that is literally like the words the wording is coming off and then we have an anastasia beverly hills little travel size mascara okay so as you can see all this stuff is pretty small and i needed something i was tired of like losing what i was looking for so now if i'm looking for anything in this pouch i know where it is and i can just take the pouch out you know what i'm saying i don't have to go surfing in my bag looking for what i need so the next thing i have in here is my um brazilian crush 62 perfume my hand sanitizer the puro hand sanitizer my um brazilian crush cream this is the yellow one not this one not this blue one this is not coco cabana this is bum bum cream i did not like the way the coco cabana smelled so i scooped it all out 
and put Brazilian cream in here just because this is a nice travel size little little bottle. Yeah, I didn't like that cocoa butter. My wallet is Michael Kors. I don't really like showing my wallet because y'all know how y'all like to do y'all tricks and shit. You're not doing that with me. No, ma'am. Scrunchies, because like I said, I like to keep my, I like to put my hair up when I'm eating. Um, and just throughout the day, I like to put my hair up. Vaseline, my Vaseline melted in this California heat. Can you see that? It's all in the top. Like, look, hold on, I'm gonna show you. Look, it melted. But I'ma still use it because yeah. Wipes, if you are a woman and you do not have feminine wipes in your bag, I really feel like I have hairs on me, on my lips. Like I don't like that. Hold on. Do y'all know the feeling I'm talking about? Like when you feel like you have hair on your lip, like I hate that feeling. So, so now we gotta reapply and I know where all my lip gloss is. What do I wanna use? We're gonna use Fenty. My Fenty lip oil. So you see how dry my lips are? Look, watch. With one application, they're back to being glossy. Get this. I don't care. Get it. Okay, that's more. That's much better. Feminine wipes. If you not have feminine wipes, I I don't know what to tell you. Get you some feminine wipes. Literally, like it's hot as fuck outside. You can use these to refresh. I'm on my cycle right now, so I use these especially if I'm like out and about. I don't really i don't like using tissue if you're gonna use tissue use tissue and then use a wipe though you can use these to reapply your deodorant as well because it's summertime we need to be reapplying our deodorant you understand what i'm saying so if you're out get you a wipe boom 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 and then put on your more deodorant um but yeah these are the down there wipes with rose water i absolutely love these we don't use honey pot anymore because honey pot they on that bullshit. So um I wanna try the L brand at I wanna try the L brand wipes as well. So yeah, I'm gonna give me some of those and stick with the down with the down there wipes because honey pot is nah. I'm not buying no more honey pot products. And y'all know why. If you don't know why, watch my video. The next thing I have in here is this is the travel size cool and bright body mist this smells really really good y'all do not sleep on victoria's secrets pink body care oh this smells so so good and this was on sale this was like two dollars it was on clearance so yeah i got the little travel size version of that and you get more product in here too hold on let me see so this is one fluid ounce this one is 2.5 fluid ounce don't you sleep on Victoria's Secret. The next thing I have in here are some L brand um, pads because I'm on my cycle. You just need pads in your purse, like literally. Just carry pads and make sure they're organic. You can use whatever brand you want, but I stick with using the L brand because they're nice, organic, and you get a lot more for your money um honey pot i don't really fuck with, with what they stand for and i was paying like seven dollars for what 20 pads that's kind of ridiculous when the l brand you can pay seven dollars for 40 pads which one would you want to pay for yeah okay deodorant i use men's deodorant because men's deodorant just lasts and this believe it or not men's deodorant smells better this is old spice 
um what is this old spice with lavender this smells absolutely divine oh my god it it smells so good it smells so good it's mint deodorant it lasts longer i'm not a natural girly i cannot deal with the natural deodorant women's deodorant doesn't work for me i thought i had a problem and then i started using men's deodorant all my problems went away i do not sweat nearly as much i used to ruin shirts my shirts used to be yellow when i was using women's deodorant switch to men's deodorant no stains at all and i don't be sweating i could literally be sitting right here right now with women's deodorant underarms drenched and i did not know why i still don't know why but men's deodorant fix the problem i suggest you try it yeah and like i said i was kind of skeptical about trying men's deodorant because i didn't want to smell like a dude you know what i mean i didn't want to smell masculine i wanted to smell like flowers this smells like lavender but now that i'm grown i don't care i'm going i will go in the men's section and get me a fucking degree you know like i don't care but this one it smells like lavender and i really really like it so i'm gonna stick with old spice they have other ones as well they have like timber fiji volcano like come on out get you some men's deodorant and my man be all up under me and i'll be wearing like crop tops you know like sleeveless shirts and stuff like that and he can't tell the difference he be like you smell good which i do because we you know when you mix it with your perfumes and your um smell goods and shit like that you're not gonna smell like a dude so yeah would you rather smell like a but even if you do smell like a dude would you rather smell like a man or would you rather have sweaty pits which one? Oh, okay but yeah the next thing i have in here is the black girl sunscreen this california summer is different from last summer okay protect yourself and my man he likes to go on hikes and he likes outdoors wilderness and shit like that so i have to make sure i have to make sure i'm protected because no you're not i'm not gonna get no type of sunburn or nothing like that um i appreciate the outdoors but I'm, i need some sunscreen you know we need to protect ourselves from those rays okay black girls need sunscreen i don't want to hear nothing else about it black women need sun black people need sunscreen i don't give a damn what shade you are chocolate brown i don't black people need sunscreen i don't want to hear that ignorant bullshit talking about oh i don't need to yes you do kill it next thing i have in here is some lysol to go like saw because ugh, ugh, you, you need some life saw, okay next thing i have in here are some bootleg ass headphones because my airpods broke and i like to drown people out especially if i'm in a car with my mama She just be talking too much sometimes it's okay and we all been there you know we all got a mama that talks too much the next thing i have in here is my keys y'all really need to see these but yeah these are my keys this is a starbucks receipts I be going to Starbucks, y'all. The next thing I have in here is my mirror. This mirror is really, really big. I got it off of Amazon, but it's a big mirror. Like, as you can see, it's really, really big and nice. And this is like a magnifying glass type. And then this is like the regular mirror side. And I absolutely love it. Like, I can just look at myself and touch myself up if I need to. The next thing I carry is toothpicks, okay? If you are out. Oh. 
Oh, only one fell on the floor. Okay, good. Only one fell on the floor. So I have to throw that one out. I'm going to just leave that one on the floor because I don't even feel like getting up right now. But toothpicks if you are out and about and you're eating there is nothing like being out and having something stuck in your teeth you know what i'm saying so you you want to make sure you're carrying some floss or some type of dental tool because that is the worst shit ever being out side of your house and not having like a toothpick or something getting something stuck in, inside your teeth that i hate that shit i can't stand that shit you understand so yeah you need some toothpick and i keep these in the little pocket area of my bag um so yeah y'all that's all my stuff and this does have a zipper as well it's a nice sturdy bag if this is like your first time watching one of my videos um about this bag it's nice and sturdy like it keeps its shape and you can fit like your um you can fit your ipad in here you can fit a book in here as well you can fit a water bottle as well and you can fit a lot in here so let me just show you So here's my iPad. If you wanna know where I got this cover, I got it off of Amazon. Just type in composition book iPad for whatever model you have. And your this is this should come up. So I'm gonna put my iPad in here. Along with my pouch and then I'm gonna put my essentials in here and I don't have an organizer I don't need an organizer my Vaseline all of my stuff As you can see, there's still room in there. So I can add my books that I'm reading. This is allegedly. As well as a water. So I'm gonna get a water. Now, it's a little heavy but everything fits like everything fits mind you i don't carry that much stuff um the only time i carry this much stuff is when i go to my man house and when i stay like when i stay the um when i stay with him so that's the only time my bag is like really really full like this to capacity but it still zips I took the water bottle out because I just wanted to show that the water bottle fits. But it still fits like everything. Like, and it's all zipped up. And you can carry it. Now, some people were talking about this handle saying it's made for your water bottle or whatever. Um, this goes in here like that. But I want to test this theory because I want to see can this actually stay. I guess, but I'm not carrying a water bottle. It's this though. But to me, it's just another handle. Um, but I mean... guess it can fit a water bottle because it stays but i think it stays because my bag is bulky right now so let's see if i take this stuff out so i wouldn't normally carry my book in my bag i'm gonna take my ipad out as well because i would just carry my book and my ipad in my hand so none of my purse is back to normal let's see if it stays So it stays. 
I guess it could be used for a water as a water bottle, but I'm not putting a water bottle in that little handle. I'm sorry. So yeah, y'all, that was my bag. That's everything. It's nice and organized. Everything's in there that I need. And yeah, of course I would add my phone and my chargers, my iPad charger and my, um, you know, phone charger, but I'm recording off of my phone. So yeah, so that is it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kyla Latrice, and I'll see y'all in the next video.